How's it going everyone and welcome back to another FIFA 21 starter squad video. As you can see on the screen, we have got a team full of Premier League players and as you'll be able to see by the team name, it is called the OP BPL starter squad. Now, some of these players at the start might be a little bit expensive. Obviously, you can see a few players in there that you're looking at probably thinking, oh, he's going to be worth a little bit. This is a team at the start that I think that if you've got a budget that is reasonable at the start of the game, after you've done a little bit of trading, you know, maybe spend some FIFA points, not loads, but you know, just some. This is a team that you can definitely, definitely can work your way towards getting within the first week. Um, in goal, we've got Dean Henderson. Obviously, last year he had the Premier League card, but he has transferred back to Man United. I think this season he might be their main goalkeeper. It'll be interesting to see if David De Gea stays. Yeah, I think I don't think he's been good enough for the last few years. Right back, we have got Reese James, who was playing. He played for Chelsea last season, actually, but the season before, was he at Norwich or someone? Or was that Max Aarons? Nonetheless, he was on loan at another team. He's doing really well. He's actually um, he's actually a really good defender, and he's decent at attacking as well, which, you know, is, is really good. Um, on the game this year, I think he will get used quite a lot because of his English links, um, and obviously he plays in the Premier League. Right centre-back is Davinson Sanchez, who, for me, will be one of the most expensive non rares on the game, but I do think he won't be... You know, out of budget to be able to get in the first couple of weeks, obviously trying to build, you know, your starter squad. Left centre-back is Nathan Aki. Uh, this is a player that you're probably going to have to pick up quite early because obviously once the ones to watch promo comes out, he is probably going to go out of packs because as I imagine he will get a card. But he will be a good player and, you know, his stats are pretty good for the starter team. Uh, Left-back is Mendy. Other than Trent Alexander-Arnold um, and Van Aholt, who is not in the, you know, he's not a, in the database yet. I don't actually know how... What his rating is going to be, it'll probably be a little bit expensive. Mendy is probably the best left back that you can possibly get at the minute. That is in the database that EA have released, so that's why I've went with him. Uh, the three centre mids is really good. We've got Sissoko, who will be uh, you know, your midfielder, your dominant player, who's going to control your midfield and you know, win your tackles for you and all that good stuff. Last year, he was absolutely amazing at the start. I think in FIFA, 80, FIFA 19, he was as well. He was a really good player. It was either this, I think it was this FIFA, FIFA 20. Obviously, we're talking about FIFA 21 now. He was really good. When he first got out, he was like 20, 30k. I don't think he will be as expensive this year, but he will still be quite expensive. Um, Oxley Chamberlain as well is going to be a really good player. Centre mid, decent pace, good all round stats, so perfect for a 4 3 3 with 3 centre mids. Uh, left centre mid is Lo Celso. Again, really good card, especially for the starter team. You could use him for many teams. Obviously, he's Argentinian, so he links with a lot of players. The front three, we've got Daniel James at right wing. Um, again, this year is going to be slightly different than last year. Pace is going to matter a lot this year. I think uh, right wings, left wings, left back, right back is all going to be quite the meta this year. Getting the crosses in, playing the through balls into the strikers and, you know, close dribbling. He's got good dribbling and he's also got really good pace, so I think he's going to be really good. Left wing, we've got um, Harvey Barnes. He's got around 83 pace. Um, I think he's going to be, in terms of left wings, unless you're going to go and get Mane or, I don't know, someone else who's a really good, you know, expensive player, maybe Rashford. He's going to be really good to start the game, to get into your starter teams, get yourself some, you know, squad battles points, uh, division rival points, get yourself into foot champs, all that good stuff. He, he, I think he'll be a really good starter player to try out and use. He's English again, so he'd be easy to get strong link. You could switch ch um, Chamber onto the left side. Get an English left back. You've got a strong link all down the left side and go to a different, you know, centre and right side of your team and build a nice hybrid. Uh, the striker position, we've got Jesus. For me, he's probably going to be the most expensive player in this team. He could be worth, you know, he could be worth about 30k or something. Um, couldn't tell you exactly how much he was last year, but he wasn't cheap. Um, so he is going to be the most expensive player, I think, in this team. I think all round, that team's got a solid, solid balance to it. Um, like I said, Sissoko, not great at attacking, but great. He, he's a great box to box centre midfielder. Chamberlain's card's actually a really good box to box centre mid as well. Lo Celso, it'll be more, you know, better at dribbling, passing, all that good stuff, but he'll do really well for you. I think the wingers are going to. I think they'll do this year. That's why I, I, you'll probably notice so far I've done 4 3 3 formations for the starter squads that have released. I think, I think the wingers are going to be really meta this year. The 4 2 3 1 could be as well, because that's what it was like the previous FIFA on FIFA 19. And a lot of people tried to exploit the back post and near post crosses. We'll have to wait and see what it is as the full game comes out. But based off the um, what I've seen on the beta anyway, I think wingers are going to be a massive, massive thing this year. But yeah, that is my OP BPL starter squad. This is a team I think you can achieve within the first couple of weeks. Like I said, there will be a few players that might be a little bit pricey, but I do think you can get it. If you have enjoyed it and you want to see more, make sure you drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all next time.